Hello friends. Today we'll be doing Maths Kangaroo level 3 and 4, year 2002 question paper. In my earlier video, we had already done uh, questions from question number 1 to 8, which were the three point problems. Now we'll be doing the four point problems from question number 9 to question number 16. So let's begin. Let's read the question. Five cars are labeled with the numbers 1 to 5. They drive in the direction of the arrow. So this is the arrow. This is the arrow in which it is going. So uh, now the first car overtakes the two cars in front of it. Then the now second to last car overtakes the two in front of it. In the end, the car that is now in the middle overtakes the two in front of it. In which order do the cars drive? Now the question looks very complicated. So let's go step by step. These are the car numbers. Now, first, so what's happening in the first? First, the last car overtakes the two cars in front of it. So the last car is number five. It overtakes the two cars in front of it. So what happens is you get number five here, three and four comes here. Then what happens in the second stand? Then the now second to last car, okay, so this is second, this is the last car, this is second to last car, overtakes the two in front of it. So number three will overtake five and two. So I will get three, two, five, and four. In the end, the car, so now after the third move, in the end, the car that is now in the middle, so this is the car in the middle, overtakes the two in front of it. So two in front of it is one and three. So this will become 2, then 1, 3, 5, and 4. So this will be my final order. So in which order do the cars now drive? So this is the final order, 2, 1, 3, 5, 4. So which is my option number B. Let's now read question number 10. <clears throat> the members of a family of kangaroos are 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 10 years old. Four of them are 22 years old when added together. How old are the other two kangaroos? So now we have six kangaroos here. Now we have to see which numbers that we add will give me a score of 22. Now if we look at it, uh, we can take, see, we need a 22. So <clears throat> let's take 2 and 10, which will give me a 12. And then I need a 10. So out of these four numbers, 6 and 4 will give me a 10. So I get 22. So how old are the other two kangaroos? The two kangaroos which are, which are left now is kangaroo 5 and kangaroo 8. So my answer is option C, which is 5 and 8. Now, let's go to question number 11. Let's read the question. Mozif has filled a table with the numbers. We see this diagram here. When he adds the numbers in each row and each column together, the result should always be the same. He has, however, made a mistake. In order to get the same result every time, he has to change one single number. So what number does Mozif have to change? Now, before that, let's just add all these numbers here. And we also need to add these numbers. So 9 plus 1. 10, this is 15, 3 plus 7, 10, this is 16, 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 plus 7 is 15. So these two are 15, we have a 16 here, let's do this as well. So uh, 9 plus 7 is 16, this is 15, this is also 15. Now if we see that Now, if we see that uh, all these numbers here, this is 15, this is 15, only here we have a 16, and even here we have a 16. Now, we need to change one number, and so that the total comes to 15. Uh, now, if, uh, so this is the number that, because here there is an error, and here there is an error. So, the number that we should be changing is number 3. So we should change it to number two so that the total tallies both row wise and column wise. So the answer for question number 11 is option number B, which is three.
Now let's go to question number 12. Aladdin's carpet has the shape of a square. Now we have to see this is the shape of a square. Along each edge, there are two rows of dots. See the diagram. The number of points is the same along each edge. How many dots in total are there in the carpet? So now if they're saying it's a square, so let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. In the case of a square, uh, all sides are equal. So if there are six dots on this side, that means the carpet is a six by six. So let's just draw this. Six, two, three, four, five, and six. Four, five, and six. This is the one. Now we are saying there are two rows of dots. So one row of dots we have already done. Now the other row we have to make. Now these are the rows of dots that we have made. So if we calculate, so it's a 6 by 6 square. So the number of dots will be 36. But now if we see that these dots, one, two, three, four, these are the dots that are not there. So four dots are not there. So what we will be doing is 36 minus four. So I get 32. So how many dots the carpet will have? The carpet will have 32 dots, which is option number A. Right? Let's go on to the next question. Now let's go to question number 13. In a classroom, the children sit in rows. In each row, there are same amount of children. In Robert's row, there are two children to the left. So this is Robert. There is two children to his left and three children to the right of him. Two and three. In front of Robert, there are two rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Because in each row, the number of children are the same. So there are two children uh, in front of him and behind him just one. So one more row, three, four, five, six. So these are the total number of children. Now if we see, this is a six by one, two, four matrix. So the total number of children in the class will be 24, which will be option number E. Right, let's go on to the next question. Now let's read question number 14. Joanna folds a piece of paper with the numbers 1 to 36 in half twice. See the diagram. So first you're folding along this line and then you're folding along this line. Then she stabs a hole through all the four layers at the same time. See the diagram on the right. Which four numbers does she pierce? Now, if we see that if we fold this paper, then what will happen? Now we have we are only concerned with this line here because this is where all the action is happening. So if you fold these two lines, so these numbers will come on top of each other. So for example, if we draw, there are six numbers. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So what will happen is these two numbers will come on top of each other. So you'll have a 13 and 19, 14 and 20. 15 and 21, 16 and 22, 17 and 23, 18 and 24. Now what's happening is that now they are folding it right here in the middle, right? So then what happens is this, so if you fold this in the middle, so this is the block that they are going to get. So that means this block and this block will come on top of each other and this is where the piercing will happen. So the numbers that will get pierced is 14, 17, 14, 17, 20, and 23. So the answer will be option number C. Let's move on to the next question. Now let's read question number 15. Three football teams are taking part in a tournament. Each team plays each other team once. For a win, the team scores three points. So for a win, the team has to score three points. Uh, and the other team, so if the other team loses, it scores zero points. 
for a draw, so in case there is a draw, would the teams get one point each? Which number of points is impossible for any team to reach at the end of this tournament? So let the teams be team A, team B, and team C. Now they are saying that each team plays each other team once. So for example, team A will play with team B, team B will play with team C, and team A will play with team B. So here, if you see, all the teams are playing with each other at least one time. Now what are the possible options that can have is that if suppose A, let's only consider A. So suppose if A wins the match, if A wins the match, so the maximum points that A can score is 3. And uh, if it wins both the matches, this one and this one, so it will be 3 plus 3, which is 6. So 6 is a possible score. So the question is, which of the points is impossible to score? So 6 is possible. So 6 is not my answer. Now, if suppose A wins only 1, only 1 and draws the other match. So A for winning will get 3 points and for the draw it will get 1 point. So it will score 4 points. So 4 points is also possible. So this is uh, option C is also not my answer. Then if suppose A draws both the matches which it's playing. So it will score 1 plus 1 which is 2. So again 2 is a possible score. So, 2 is not my answer. Now, again, A can draw a match and lose the other. That is also a possible situation. So, in this case, for drawing the match, it will score 1 point and for losing, it will score 0 point. So, it can also score 1 point. So, that is also possible. So, this is again an impossible choice. So, now the only option that we are left with is option D, which is 5. So, which number of points is impossible? That will be option number D, which is 5 points. I hope this is clear. Now, let's move on to the next question. Now, let's read question number 16. <clears throat> Jan sends five postcards to his friends during his holiday. The card for Michael does not have ducks. The card for Clara shows the sun. The card for Paula shows exactly two animals and the card for Lexi shows a dog. The card for Haley shows kangaroos. Now, which card does Jan send to Michael? Now, the, num the cards that we have is A, B, C, D and E. <clears throat> now, let's read the question. The card for Michael does not have ducks, right? So, the one for Michael will not have ducks. Uh, no, let's not do it this way. Let's do it with the names of the people. So let's say Michael, Clara, Paula, Lexi, and Katie. Now they're saying the card for Michael does not have ducks. So the card for Michael will not have ducks. The card for Clara shows the sun. Now you have sun in picture number A and picture number B. So let's write this A or B for the time being. The card for Paula shows exactly two animals. Now exactly two animals we have in option B or option C. Now the card for Lexi shows a dog. Now there's only one card with a dog. So that will be card E. And the card for Hedy shows kangaroos. So Hedy has kangaroos which is option B. Now since Hedy has a kangaroo. So Paula will not have B. So Paula will have card number C. And uh, Clara, uh, Michael will not have the one with the ducks. So Michael will have card A. And Clara will have the one with the ducks, which is option B. So which card does Jan send to Michael? So Jan will send card A to Michael. So my answer is option number 